Guys, what's up? Welcome back to this new Real Talk video. I'm still on my couch and I want to talk with you about things that are relevant to my personal life and my work life. And today's topic is, will I stick with Sketch forever? And I think this is a very relevant question because I started designing in Photoshop. Now I started designing in Photoshop when I was 14 years old. I created print products my first websites and even user interfaces in Photoshop. And of course, I know that there are still a lot of designers and people, maybe even you who are watching this video and maybe you're still using Photoshop for every project or every now and then. So I created these products in Photoshop and it worked great. And Sketch came into my life about in 2014. I uh, switched to Sketch in this year. So I'm using it about for uh, three years now. And I gotta say, Sketch is like for me, for my process and my needs, the best app to create a website or a user interface. It may not be the best app to create anything, so it's not great for print products, but I think it's perfect for user interfaces, not just because of the features that Sketch app has, but also because of the other apps like Envision, Marvel and so on, all these apps that you can use in cooperation with Sketch and uh, you can really include those different apps, those third-party apps into your process really easy. And I think that's really the major advantage in comparison to Photoshop. So now the question of this video is, will I stick with Sketch forever? Because this was just my past, my story, uh, how I got to switch from Photoshop to Sketch. And I gotta say, it's possible that I will switch from Sketch to a different app. Maybe not Photoshop. Maybe it's Adobe XD or any other app that will arise very quickly. Uh, Sketch was also like coming out of nowhere somehow. I don't, I don't think that Sketch was even meant to be a UI UX design app. I think it was for icons and uh, illustrations and so on because it has amazing vector features. Um, but they switched their focus and now like every second or every designer is using Sketch for their designs and maybe a different app will come up and will, for example, include prototyping in such an amazing way or any other feature that will change our design process so immensely that we will try to adapt to this app. Another problem that I see personally about Sketch is that there is still no Windows version. Adobe XD, Adobe Photoshop, you can switch between OS's. It's not that you have to use a certain OS like Mac OS, but you can use anything you want. You can also use your old Windows PC or a new Windows device, which is awesome because Windows, they created some awesome products, some awesome devices very recently and I saw a lot of people switching from Mac to Windows uh, and maybe I will do that in the future as well, I don't know. It also depends on how Apple is doing, what products they will develop, what the new iMac is going to be, what the new MacBook is going to be like in five years, maybe not in two years, but uh, looking at the long distance uh, and some years in the future, I think maybe we will see a new Windows dominated market of designers and developers. I don't know, Sketch is still just on Apple devices, especially on the Mac. And I am I think this is a problem. I don't know if they really think about that or if they are trying to solve this somehow. But I, as I said, as I mentioned, this is one of the biggest problems for me because I think the future will be to use the device that you want to use and the app has to be featured on all of these devices and feature the same amount of uh, advantages and features themselves. But of course there are also some really good things related to Sketch and its current development. So we have symbols in Sketch which are amazing. So I don't think or I don't know if Photoshop features symbols but this is like the best thing that happened to me and my process because you have like a header or you have a footer design or a button or anything else and you wanted to use it across your artboards and change it just in one place, then symbols are simply what you're going to use and what you're going to need. And now since Sketch released their new library feature, which is also incredible, that because the library feature lets you use uh, a certain document with all your assets like buttons and links and so on and they can be used in those different artboards like on your homepage 
on your contact page or anywhere else and you just have to edit them on this single document. So they work like symbols, so they are symbols in general, but it's possible for example to have a whole different document open on a different Mac in a different room and in, in a different office. So maybe your developer is working on those assets, on those symbols and you have your final documents opened up uh, so you can really collaborate with those people way better and way more than you could just in the past. So as I said, I think Sketch is really developing in a great way. I don't know what they will feature in the future years. Maybe they will incorporate prototyping somehow or maybe they will try to solve other problems and I think they are on a good way. But I don't know if the future in five years or so will be that we are all going to use Sketch. Because if I look back like 10 years ago, everyone was using Photoshop for their designs and maybe this will change as well. Because nowadays I see almost everyone is using Sketch and we don't know what will happen to Sketch, Apple, Microsoft and those other apps and other products that will arise very soon probably. So I hope I could give you some impressions of my thoughts about will I stick with Sketch forever. The answer is maybe. The answer is not no, not yes. We will see. And I'm really curious what you think about that. Are you using Sketch already? Or what do you need that you will jump from Photoshop or anything else to Sketch? So let me know this in the comment section. I'm really curious and I hope you have a great and awesome day. So thanks for your time and we see us in the next video. Bye. The truth, the money never lie, no I'm the one, yeah I'm the one early morning in the dark Know you 